Matt with Matt's Kayaking Adventures doing some dancing with the buoy keeping a safe distance kind of neat to sit here in the river and uh, dance with one of these buoys hide behind it and not have to work very hard at paddling just to sit here in the eddy created by this thing never want to get too close they do bob around a little bit like that right there darn that was right on cue that was perfect so you want to keep your distance because that's uh, two tons of steel I believe and it's anchored to the rock, or anchored to the bottom of the river by 500 pounds of concrete. At least that's what I'm being told. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. And they are connected to that 500 pound chunk of concrete with a half inch steel cable. Half inch diameter steel cable. I would guess it was probably a stainless steel cable, but I'm not sure about that either. Anyway, just dancing a little bit, having a little fun on the river. Um, it's probably best if you don't do this, unless you are a very well experienced kayaker. What the water is a little turbulent right here, behind this eddy, this buoy. And it just bounces around and does its thing. And I just sit right here and enjoy it. Not really working at paddling. Just kind of sitting here watching it dance. I actually ferried over here from uh, river left. I was headed up river. And I thought, I wonder if I could go straight across to that buoy. And I did. I ferried straight across the current right to this buoy. Which also takes a lot of practice to get the right boat angle up river. The right paddle strokes and just, just all sorts of number of things. And uh, the experienced kayaker will understand what I'm talking about. So right now I'm just floating the river. The river's taking me at 3.4 miles an hour. And that's, I don't know, maybe a little bit higher than the average speed every day. All I gotta do is steer just a little bit. Plus, I wanna go backwards. Everybody always asks, why do kayaks always wanna float backwards? Well, it's really simple. The current is pushing from the stern or the back of the kayak. So, take a pencil or a pen, lay it on your desk, and with your finger, 
try to push it straight across your desk. It will want to always turn. And that's what the river is doing with your kayak. Can't push a skinny thing straight forward without a turning. You have to guide it somehow. That's why kayaks always turn. At least, that's my theory. Might not be the right theory, but you know, everybody has a theory on everything. It's just a beautiful evening. Sit back, enjoy the river, relax. Gatorade or water. The good juice is alive. So I put in at Capital View Access on Cedar Creek. I went up river a little bit once I got to the Missouri. And had fun playing with the buoy. And now I'm just uh, taking a lazy evening float down the river. Leaves are starting to turn colors on the trees. Um, I can't wait for another week or two when they actually get in full color. I'll be doing a video about that. I'm going to try to hit the Missouri River, of course, the Osage River, and then the Gasconade River. See the colors of all the trees and different scenery along those rivers uh, it's usually pretty I didn't do video last year of it because last year at this time I didn't have my channel going 